All right, guys, so I am in the pantry because here is where we keep our hoard of Caribou Lodge souvenirs. And a couple of days ago, I was contacted by someone who follows us on YouTube and asked us if we had any swag. And so I sent them pictures of all of the stuff that we sell. And so all the way across the country, um, we're going to get ready to ship off some stuff. So they asked for a couple shirts and a couple mugs. There we go. They requested two blue mugs. This is our Caribou Lodge logo. And we have that on hats and t-shirts as well. Wanted to say thank you guys for ordering these. And if anybody else wants them, hit us up. Brothers at gmail.com. All right, I'm going to get out of our pantry. So now we're over at the back of the woodshed. Aaron is going to get the four-wheeler hooked up to the trailer because we got to move some stuff down to the boathouse before the float plane comes in tomorrow to pick up Aaron. So now we're down at Joe and Bonnie's cabin. I've got to go up into their loft and get a bunch of stuff that they want hauled out that they're going to donate. A lot of things, a lot of toys, a lot of old clothes that Emma doesn't need anymore. So we're going to try and fit some of the stuff on the float plane tomorrow. the junk in here in the boathouse because Aaron leaves tomorrow. He's been here a month. It's been awesome having you. Fun. And we're going to try and cram that float plane full. So whatever Aaron and his luggage doesn't take up is going to be Huggies boxes. So that's it for this little project. Kylie Bell, what did you say? What is your favorite thing that just got off the plane? Um, everything. What do you think, Kylie? What's the best thing you just saw get off the plane? Those flowers. They're so pretty. Yeah. I thought you'd pick strawberries. All right, let's move is it up to the house. So, Aaron is gone. We waved goodbye to him. It was really awesome having you here, bud. I'm so glad you made it, and thank you so much for, for putting up with me with all those projects for the last few weeks. A project that I'm tackling myself is going to be stripping and staining the deck. So, honestly, not really looking forward to this project, but it's gonna look sharp when it's all said and done. I have high hopes for this natural cedar tone, with, uh, with four years of protection, which is a lot better than the six months that we got off of the other super expensive stain that we used. But what do you do? I can't blame it all on the stain. It also has to do with this inclement weather that we have. As you guys all know, we got 196 inches of snow this last winter. We get on average about 25 to 30 inches of rain. So it's just a lot to ask of a deck to stay pretty when it's... Uh, uncovered <laughs> so anyways a lot of washed out uh garbage wood here that we're gonna 
suck out that natural color again, clean it up, and hope that this product makes it look sharp for at least a couple more years. So I got a little helper here that wanted to do some stain. She's doing a good job. All right, I'm going to go take a nap. Just tell me when it's done. I'm done. You're already done? I didn't even get a nap. All right, thanks for your help, babe. The different things that came out yesterday when Aaron left, I got a bunch of flowers. Um, I have a lot of starts, but not some of the ones that I needed to finish off my hanging basket. So I'm going to plant some of those today and get our hanging baskets started getting established and then they can move out of the greenhouse in a few days after they've had some time to adjust to their new new pots. So we've got some wave petunias, some lobelia, snapdragons, and geraniums mostly. So we're going to plant the baskets that are hanging up there with those and the nasturtiums that are doing really well. So, yep, we're just here getting flowers. You're helping? Yep. Here, you want to get some petunias? Yeah. These are pink flowers. They're really pretty. And these are my favorite flowers. Why are they your favorite? They're just pretty, I guess. Yeah, they're my, actually my favorite. Okay, so I am just clearing out these baskets, the old dirt in them. I'm taking the old dirt out and adding some of this new soil and mixing it together so that we can have some new nutrients in there. I've already got one basket done, six more to go, and lots more plants. This portion of the covered part of the deck is a catch-all in the winter and it's just like it's embarrassingly cluttered in here so that's my project right now all right so now i'm going to clean this place up don't make fun of my shorts it is 80 degrees outside and i was desperate so ha, we'll come back in just a second when this place is tidy and just like that it's clean all right so i'll walk you around show you what i did real quick isn't this hilarious i don't even have pockets in these stupid shorts so i've resorted to wearing this i feel like i'm out exercising or something these chairs always stay here unless guests are here at the lodge keep them out of the sun and the rain some things that always stay here is one ice chest one propane cylinder extra for the water heater and one for the oven we've got packs up here for when we have day hikers come in um, they can grab a pack if they didn't bring one of their own and then we've got one propane cylinder always hooked up to the chest freezer um, It is no longer 80 degrees out as is usual for the first part of June We get gorgeous mornings and then as you can see the clouds start to form and they start to rumble up over the mountains there Every night this week. We've had a thunderstorm one thing I want to show you before I shut off the camera and then that'll be it is the update on the woodshed we'll check out how this looks all right so there it is with uh the front covered in make it a little more rainproof so rain doesn't fly through that front rafter and then we finally had the green tarp flown in and replaced the orange tarp so that's it for this year i think it looks pretty good it looks a lot better and um stacking a ton of firewood in there I still have a bunch of logs to cut, split, and stack. All right, so as the week continues, we just have more and more projects. Um, Alyssa's busy in the house. We're actually getting ready for guests to come in, our first guests of the summer. Uh, so she is baking up a storm. Uh, biscotti, homemade granola, bread, just kind of getting her whole menu in order, which is really cool. So uh, she does a lot of cooking, which isn't cool for her because she would rather be outside. But... Um, so I got a couple things to do too around here. I'm going to help her make up the cabin. First, I've got to uh, uh, hook up this shower house sign. So another project with the drill. We use the drills a lot around here, but it's different because today, as you can tell, I'm using a different bit. So it's completely different. All right, so here we are at the front of cabin one. This is where Aaron and I uh, put in the new deck rails a couple weeks ago 
and so we'll head inside room 100 okay so inside here we've got what's set up as a king size bed but as you can tell it's split in the middle to separate into two twin beds i've got a dad and his two sons coming so he requested two twin beds and a futon all right guys well i look like crap and i feel like crap because i chopped way too much wood in the direct sunlight today and got sunburned so i'm going to turn this end of the episode over to my beautiful wife Alyssa. so we're just wrapping up some last minute projects before our guests come in on friday um i got my flowers hanging unfortunately it's windy you can see my hair is going a little bit nuts um so i i might actually put them in the greenhouse so they don't get ruined but um, those are done and I will go show you the inside of the cabin now that it's ready for guests. So it's ready for guests. We've got um, a family of three in here so normally we don't have the futon out but we've got a spot for all three of them and it's pretty cozy. That pretty much wraps up this video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Come on, take brothers. <laughs>